doubt yourself like have faith in it and have faith in yourself and have faith in like who you're becoming I'm in a really interesting space and I say that because you know I questioned for a, a couple years now like the type of person that I was and this last month this last month and I think you know I'll have like little periods where I like hear like little tidbits of like that I'm a great person I'm this I'm that whatever but it's really like hitting me like the type of person that I am and the tensions that I have like because everybody wants to be a good person everybody wants to be a good person nobody wants to be questioned or self like have doubt whatever I don't I genuinely do not wish to for anybody to be harmed um I don't wish ill will on anyone let me just tell y'all what it is when I went to homecoming he's a Q now but he came up to me he was like you know you know, I really, I really appreciate you. Like, I really appreciate you because you, like, really influenced my college experience. Like, you know, I really fuck with you. And I was like, really? That's so sweet. That is so sweet. And he was like, no, dad, I was like, you know, you really looked out as an RA. I really appreciate you. You did a lot for us. Like, you know, you, you really was the GOAT. And I'm like, damn, I was? Like, I knew I was that bitch, but I'm like, wow, I was? So then somebody else, I think it was, a, it was another guy. It was another guy because I did a co-ed during my senior year. So he came up to me. He was like, yeah, he's like, you really, you really did like look out for us. And he said, you know, I, I dead ass let them get away, whatever, with whatever. They, <laughs> he had like a, um, he would make fried chicken in his dorm and he would give me chicken whenever he would make it, whenever I was there. But I, because my rule was, look, don't burn the place down. And we're good. I'll let y'all do whatever the hell y'all want to do. Just don't burn it down. Don't make me look crazy. We're good. And they, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. They didn't make me look crazy. They didn't burn nothing down. We was good. But, you know, I... I just really... He he told me, like, you know, how, how I was a really good RA. And how he really appreciated me. And I had a girl come up to me and say the same thing. And how she was really grateful and I was like wow like I really impacted these people's lives for real like I really impacted their lives and you never know the impact that you have on somebody you never know you never you really never fucking know you could literally smile at somebody and that could be the turning point in their day you never fucking know and it makes me value life. It makes me value experiences. Oh, I'm a cry. I've been listening to Sarah, Sarah Jakes for like the last four hours at work. So, but it makes me value and appreciate the experiences that I have. And, you know, it makes me value the person that I am. And this is stemming from like, okay, I got a call last night from my high school best friend. And she was just like, she was like, you know, you really just, she was like, you know, you really, I really, I really love you no matter what. I'm still going to, I always fuck with you. I, you know, I'm just so grateful for you. A sexy mama, that's what she called my mama. She was like, you know, you looked out for me when nobody else did. Even if you didn't want to do it, you still looked out. You still made sure I got to school. Like, y'all don't know, like, that really touched me because I'm like, you know, I, sometimes I do question, like, I do question things and just to have like that just to have the what's the word it's a word for it the reminder of the type of person that you are and the impact you've made on other people's lives like it means so much like it really does mean a lot and 
me trying to like navigate where I am like emotionally and trying to like trying to get out of my sad girl era I feel like this specifically like just hearing it for like the last month I appreciate it and it makes me feel really good about who I am and like the things that I do and even at work like you know my job as um as a as a supervisor is to like you know bridge the gap between guest service agents and management and you know i'm i advocate i'm their voice and i try to fight for them and i try to do these things and i had another another gsa was like well you don't have to do that but i do because that's the person that i am like i'm not gonna sit down and just let allow foolishness to transpire or you know not try to implement some some portion of change like there's things in life that make me feel like i am where i'm supposed to be and I know I'm supposed to be in this spot, so I'm not trying to like rush, rush anything, rush anything. Fucker, trying to be emotional, and this fucker is not. Don't know how to fucking drive. I'm just very grateful for the experiences. I'm grateful for the person that I am. I'm grateful to the person that I'm still becoming. I'm grateful for my healing journey, and I'm just so grateful that I'm like in the space that I'm in in my life. And I'm still trying to figure things out. Like I don't. I'm trying to figure out why why God is like bringing people back in my life at this time like I'm trying to figure it out like I don't I don't know what it is but I'm just I'm trying to figure it out like I don't know why my my high school best friend reached out I don't I want to know why like I want to know why God is putting her back in my life I listened to Sarah Sarah Jake's sermon on doubt And I'm I I have like a doubt and like there's another one I listened to. It's doubt and something else, but a part of it was that like you know you can't you can't doubt you can't doubt where you are or like oh it's something about fear. It was something about fear. But you can't have any fear because like you know it's a reason why it's a reason why like you know you're in this space it's a reason why god is like putting this on your heart like it's a reason why so you got to step out of that fear and step out step out into into being comfortable in it so i'm learning how to be comfortable in fear and i and i told myself going forward i think this is probably gonna be my mantra for for the rest of the year into the new year is if there's something like even new opportunities like i'm so i'm leaving my night job to go and like pursue esthetician because i, I really want to perfect my craft like i want to perfect it so um me leaving a secure job scares the shit out of me it scares the shit out of me and i'm like you know what fuck that like we're not gonna sit in fear we're not gonna sit and be afraid we're not gonna doubt it we're not gonna question it no you're gonna fucking do it and because you are scared because you don't know what to expect because of all of those things those limiting beliefs that you're telling yourself you're gonna do it anyway and you're you're I'm, I told myself no matter what it is I have to say yes okay now it's gonna be a limitation to this it's gonna be boundaries with it but I'm making sure I force myself out of my comfort zone because there's nothing there's n there's so much more for me outside of that fear that I'm afraid of it's so much more and I can guarantee you if once I step outside of that and stop being afraid and fearful of shit and doubting myself and doubting my potential and doubting the blessings that God has for me I can guarantee you there's there's a whole nother life for me on the other side like i am sure of that like i know in my heart of hearts that god has more for me i know in my heart of hearts that every every single dream every single goal is attainable and i know i know for a fact it's going to happen i just have to stop being afraid and just do it i really just wanted to you know 
speak on it like speak on like you know don't doubt yourself like have faith in it and have faith in yourself and have faith in like who you're becoming and my suggestion is to like put yourself in a space around people who value you put yourself in a space around people who uplift you and people who want to encourage you and like start thinking about the little things that you've done and accomplished and like start to pick yourself up because we often forget about the shit that we've done we often forget about the accomplishments that we've made and we forget about we forget about our past journeys that have gotten us to this point start putting yourself in environments where people are going to encourage you and remind you of the person that you are granted i do i what did receive reminders but I'm so hard on myself, I don't like adhere to them like I should. But Sarah Jakes did say something that I want to put out there, and I I love this and I had to write it down. She said, and this was the last thing that I like listened to from her uh her thing. It says the weapon for your doubt is in the experience that you pick up along the way. I'm gonna read that again. The weapon for your doubt is in the experiences that you picked up along the way. I, I said, baby, I be at work with crocodile tears in my eyes, praising Jesus. And I'm like, you know what? That, that's a word right there. That's a word right there. So that's my little tidbit. Once I pull into this parking lot, I'm gonna take a nappy nap in my car. And then I'm going to walk into work, potentially on top of the hill potentially on time today yeah i know i'm walking to work on time i like you better on the first day i should have said what's wrong in the first